guys um, welcome back uh, to a more another tutorial uh, this is uh, I'm showing green the the green of the diorama okay uh, I start uh, with this uh, slimy grime light okay this is a uh, 1411 and I make all that green in the area and then I use uh, the new oil brushes from Mick Um I use the olive green, uh, the dark green, and the peeled green. Okay, I use these three tones, and using the the slimy grime light, uh, it's four tones. Okay, so uh, I will start um, with olive green. Okay. Uh, this this uh, you must shake okay because he has a like a oil uh, preserver inside and we like to mix uh, it's simple you put the sim uh, just simple dots uh, and because we are um, using the light green uh, I'm using on the parts uh, we can imagine the light from the sun or where it's going to go down so the more light I'm it's different uh, this technique uh, because we begin with the light and then we go to the dark okay so uh, I put on this jar uh, the animal odorless thinner, okay, from Ick, and I put on the jar uh, a bit because um, it's where I clean the brushes, okay. So now uh, don't have any any problem. Put uh, a lot on that, and don't forget these uh, old brushes. The the paint it's highly pigment okay and it's dry real quickly okay you can go with uh, your thinner but it's better to work uh, in some areas and you go all over the diorama don't make all the the spots one time okay going in, in, in many steps okay so as you can see, I'm putting um, make uh, the green more lighter, okay? And I will put some more on the other side. As you can see, it's another step. I I do the other side, okay? And the, uh, when where is the front of the the tank? Now I'm going to make this side on are these rocks, and then I will go to the back to the door of the tank. Okay, it's going to be more dark uh, on that side. But uh, okay, uh, now just a little more. Like I said, always take uh, your time and see it. I'm using a, a brush with very, very, very soft um, hair, okay? Um, but this is a, a long and, and I want uh, uh, a very short uh, brush for this because I want it to spread, okay? Uh, with this, uh, what I am doing we are preparing the diorama for uh, later. Put static grass and other things, okay? Now, uh, I'm going to use the dark green, okay? And I will put more on the hidden spots, okay? Not the, the real uh, holes and that, but the side or with where is begin the some shadows, okay? And like I make before, this is not dots. This is not. This is like lines. Okay, it's different. And we 
do the same thing uh, with the brush and the thinner. Okay. Don't go too much. It's a simple rule, but if you go too much, the work always don't be very good, okay? Don't be excited. <laughs> so, now I am using thinner again. Okay, you can see the color spreading, okay? This is the, what I call the mid-tone of the, the green. And you see it's beginning to make difference, okay? Uh, when you are going later to put static grass, uh, uh, play with these uh, lights and these shadows, okay? It's going to make a real good difference, okay? So let's continue and spreading this nice. And don't forget this, um, these uh, oils are very, very high, highly pigment. So be careful putting that, okay? If you see another video I, I publish the, of the rust, uh, it's you can see there it's very very highly pigment. And it's a very nice thing. You can put this on on the palette or okay, and you put the thinner and you can use to make uh, just simple touch of washes and pin washes with with these two okay. Um, like I said before, I used the um, I paint the. Um, the entire diorama with brown colors okay a very mix of brown colors and then I use uh, North African dust okay from me to the Kirk soil okay and the light dust this is all uh, nature effects okay this is as good for the models and I am playing with these two on my on my dioramas too okay the slimy grimy light it's very good you have the the dark but here it's very nice so as you can see now i use the field green and make lots of difference okay and you can see with these three oils and uh, slimy grammy light I make I prepare the diorama okay and as you can see the light dust I put in some spots like there okay and it's very nice these are the results uh, hope you like it and I see you on the next video my friends thank you very much for watching and goodbye <laughs>